The Fab Labs are groups of local labs on an international scale. So not only do we have one here, but they're all around the world. People are now producing prosthetic hands and fingers and all this kind of stuff. We can do the same thing here. Right now we have a laser cutter, we have a vinyl cutter, we have a desktop CNC machine, we have a 3D laser scanner, four 3D printers, and eventually we hope to get a water jet, we hope to get uh, CNC routers, we hope to get uh, CNC plasma cutters, all kinds of welding equipment, so that you can go there and realistically make just about anything you want. Fab Lab, the original concept came from a professor out at MIT, Neil Gershenfeld, and he had an NSF grant to actually go beyond the computer revolution and attach these computers to these expensive pieces of equipment and begin to produce stuff. Well, part of the NSF grants means that you have to have the community outreach portion. It is a community resource. Community can be the college, different curriculums. It can also be small business entrepreneurs, but it's a place for us all to congregate and we all get to sort of feed off of each other and come up with creative ideas. In my case, I look towards the more artistic, but I'm really just looking for the collaboration, the community, and a place where we all have resources that we may not be able to afford or have any place else. We have a guitar making class where they structure and we, it's just starting this term. We've got how to make just about anything, and then those are both credit classes. And then we have a non-credit workshop that we hold that is more of, they can come in, they learn the safety and all of that, and then they can just start building. And we're working on some business team building type workshops that we're gonna introduce. We're going to be moving into the Kate building. The whole concept of the building is working with businesses and students and faculty so that there's this really nurturing environment to, to building stuff and prototyping stuff. It's going to be about five times larger. We're gonna have all of the equipment that everybody's dreaming of. And the big thing is we're looking at a space that's big enough that we can have more than eight people in there and have them working on multiple projects. I know the guys in the trades are really excited because they get to move up here. We're just trying to find a real collaborative environment. Right now we can do everything from pictures to soft metals we can engrave and, and cut and form. We can do 3D printing. We can do all kinds of vinyl stuff, whether it's banners, yard signs, t-shirts. We can even do printed circuitry, you know, and do surface mounted chips and, and soldering and stuff like that. You actually get to build stuff. You get to use the computer. You get to use technology. It's not just, okay, I can go on my computer and program something or, or surf the web, but I can actually build something with it.